So maybe you're thinking of backpacking the world or just going on a vacation, but you do not want to break the bank. Well, my name's Christian, and I've been traveling for the last two years, and I've been to over 70 countries, and here are five countries right now that you can go to for less than $1,000 for a month. And trust me, I know for my American audience, one month is a ton of time, but take that with a grain of salt. If you want to do two weeks, just cut whatever price I said in half. Number five is the country of Bosnia, and this might be a country that you've never even heard of. Well, it's a country that I actually spent a lot of time in. In my life, I've spent over two months in the country of Bosnia, and let me say, it is definitely under $1,000 for one month. In Bosnia, you can find full-blown apartments. I'm talking about two bedrooms in the capital city. That's where things are usually most expensive, right? But you can find two-bedroom apartments for under $400 per month, and this is with the fees on like Airbnb booking, so it's even cheaper than that. And when we're talking about food, it gets even better. For me, Bosnian food is in the top five foods in the world. My favorite restaurant is actually in Bosnia. It's called Del Rio. If you go, definitely check it out. You, and it's a super fancy restaurant, but you can get an appetizer, entree, dessert, and their house wine for under $15. But if you want to do local food at a local price, you can do entrees for under $4. You can do breakfast burek for $1 to $1.50. That's a meat-filled pastry that is absolutely, it's literally bigger than my hand, and it'll feed you up for half the day. Also, remember the area of the world that we're in? We're in the Balkans, so they love to drink, they love to party, and you can get beer at a bar for $1, $1. And at number four, another country that you can go to and spend one month for less than $1,000 is the country of Thailand. Now, a lot of people always talk about Thailand, and you might think, oh, maybe it's too touristy, maybe it's overhyped. Let me just tell you, Thailand is an absolute blast, and it's a full-blown experience, and I cannot recommend it more. One thing you do need to know is when you go to the south of Thailand, it does get more expensive, but for example, in Bangkok, or if you go up to the north in Chiang Mai, you can get full-blown apartments with a pool and a gym for less than $400 a month. And I know specifically for my U.S. audience, these rent prices probably sound crazy to you. I thought so too until I started traveling the world and realized how much money we spend on rent is insane. Now, when we're talking about food up in Chiang Mai, this is 100% accurate. When you go out to Usually in Thailand, you're going to eat at the street carts, the street vendors. You can get entire meals for less than $2. And it's delicious and you are completely full. Transportation-wise, you can use things like Grab or Uber. Let me just tell you, it's going to be on a motorbike. You really won't be in car. So that's a very trusting situation that you need to have. It is less than $2 to get across the city. Just think about how much you spent on your last Uber ride. I also recommend this to almost everyone. If you're going to Thailand, this is one of the best places to get clothing. If you want an entire new wardrobe for less than $100, I'm talking about an entire new wardrobe for less than $100. Thailand's the place to do it. And coming in at the third spot is going to be the country of Argentina. And if you've been following this channel for a while, you know that I lived in Argentina for quite a long time. Now, due to years of inflation, Argentina has become incredibly inexpensive for foreigners if you trade in the dollar, the pound, or the euro. For local Argentinians, it's not so much. However, if you are a foreigner going to Argentina, it makes it one of the cheapest countries in the world. Now, for short-term rent, it is a little bit more expensive. It's going to be anywhere between $450 and $600. But if you're doing long-term, I promise you, you can find an apartment in Buenos Aires for under $300. That's if you're doing like a yearly rental. Food-wise, let me tell you, Argentinian food is some of the best in the world. If you like meat, you will love the food in Argentina. And I'm not even joking you. If you go to a restaurant, the most expensive item on the entire menu will be less than $12. And I remember using this app called Pedidos Ya, yeah, which is basically like Uber Eats, and you could get an entire meal Uber uh, Pedidos Ya yeah, to you, and it'd be less than five bucks. Also, transportation is phenomenal. I remember from my apartment to Buenos Aires, when I took a taxi cab, it cost $3.50. 25 minute drive across the city. Also flights within Argentina are pretty cheap as well. They're under 50 bucks. Use Aerolinas Argentina. I flew with them probably six or seven times, never had an issue. And if you want super cheap clothing, there's this market in Buenos Aires, it's called Once. If you ever see me with my Nike sweatshirt, that was a $6 Nike sweatshirt that I got in the market. And country number two that you can go to for less than $1,000 a month is the country of Vietnam. Let me just tell you, I absolutely love Vietnam. And I actually thought there was going to be maybe a little hostility 
or I was going to feel uncomfortable when I went being an American, but absolutely not. Everyone is so incredibly friendly. In Vietnam, I had a studio apartment for one month and it cost me $215 and I guarantee you that was the tourist price. I negotiated a little bit. It started at $250, but I got it down to $215. So if you're there long term, it definitely is less than that. Also, I forgot to mention that apartment came with a pool and a gym for food. It's absolutely unbelievable. You will literally spend between one and two dollars on your meals. And remember when I was talking about Thailand with Grab and Uber, it's the same exact thing in Vietnam, but even less. I'm talking about rides across a city. I remember I was in the city of Dalat were literally less than $1 to be picked up and brought to wherever I was going. But let me just tell you, Vietnam's an amazing place, but you mentally need to be ready for Vietnam. It is chaos, but it's lovely chaos. You know, that's what gives Vietnam its, its specialness, its uniqueness. Now, for the number one country that you can go to for less than $1,000 per month is the country of Peru. Peru was the last country that I was in in South America and I was never even supposed to go there but let me tell you if you are planning a vacation and you don't know where to go please go to Peru. Not only is there one million things to do from Machu Picchu to the Nazca lines to Rainbow Mountain but it is so unbelievably inexpensive. You can do full-blown tours. I'm talking about 12 hours including breakfast and lunch all of the driving entrances to either the parks or the mountain or whatever, and it is less than $30. If you go to the big markets, you can legitimately get food. I'm not even kidding when I say this. Appetizer, entree, dessert, and a drink for less than a dollar and 50 cents. People are also super friendly, especially because recently not that many people have been going to Peru, but the tourism is picking up again, and the locals are actually super happy to see this. If I can give you a recommendation, maybe now, leave Lima. Lima wasn't my favorite. Also, I didn't feel super safe in Lima, but the rest of Peru, I felt unbelievably safe. Now, I didn't do any long-term living situations or have any apartments or anything like that, but I will tell you, I did get hotel rooms in Lima, which is the most expensive part of Peru, and it was $20 a night for a hotel room. So just wrap your mind around what rent could be. It's definitely less than 300 a month. I spent one month in Peru, and I think my total was about $800. And let me tell you, I was spending money. And if you have any questions about specific places I stayed or activities, just leave them in the comment section below and I'll be happy to answer them. A huge thank you to all the Patreon, Instagram, and Facebook subscribers for making this channel possible. We are almost at 100,000 on Facebook, so I really do appreciate you guys. But travelers, that is going to be it for five places you can go to right now for less than $1,000 per month. I'm not including the flights over there because if you've been watching this travel long enough, you know you should never be paying for flights. Use those airline miles, use those credit card miles, and you'll never pay for another flight again. But guys, I will see you in another video sometime soon. Always remember, travel's a privilege, so enjoy every second of it. I will see you next time.